Hello everyone, I'm Alan Cavana coming to you from the NASCAR R&D Center in Concord, North Carolina. It's where NASCAR handed down one of the most significant penalties in the sport's history, a penalty that alters this year's chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. NASCAR penalized Michael Waltrip Racing for actions detrimental to stock car racing. Along with a $300,000 fine for the organization, each team was docked 50 driver and owner points from their total after the race in Richmond Saturday night. In short, it means Martin Truex Jr. loses his spot in the chase, moving Ryan Newman in as the second wild card. The penalties come after NASCAR spent the last two days investigating what it called, quote, an attempt to manipulate the outcome of the race, end quote. With nine laps to go, Clint Boyer spun, bringing out the caution flag. And over the radio, Brian Vickers was told to come to the pits. NASCAR officials say the penalties go after MWR as a whole. The collection of all the information we collected from Saturday night led us to the team-wide reaction as opposed to an individual car. The preponderance of things that happened by Michael Walter Brayson Saturday night, the most clear was the direction that the 55 driver was given and the confusion around it, and then the conversation following that occurrence is the most uh, clear part of that preponderance. It's difficult. Uh, it was a tough conversation with Michael Walter Bracing and its members. Uh, it was difficult as a conversation internally uh, because we all wanted to be sure we made the right steps and did the right thing. Hilton admits these penalties do not address the ripple effects of the moves by Boyer and Vickers on the track. MWR Executive Vice President and General Manager Ty Norris, who was on the radio to Brian Vickers, has been suspended indefinitely by NASCAR. In a statement, Michael Waltrip said the events of Saturday night were done with a split-second decision, and he apologized to competitors and fans. For NASCAR, I'm Alan Kavanaugh.